E E E You got UDY It's his girlfriend cheating on him while at work Sheesh Uh, the last couple of Last couple of ones he been having They been failing Is his girlfriend cheating on him Is she going? Or not? I believe she's gonna go. I believe she's gonna go. First of all, that Antonio dude, that's his name. If it if he the decoy or DG's. Let's check it out, man. I really like this chick, but like she's kinda done some stuff to me and I don't know, when you got that little bit, it's just like wasn't able to try so then Yeah. You know, thinking all the time. Yeah, I overthink too much, and I've been drinking way too much. It's like... Aw, oh, damn. Today, we're helping Eric test his girlfriend's loyalty. We'll just call her Emily. Are you prepared for the possibility that she might fail this test? I'm prepared for it just because of what's happened and stuff, so, like, oh, here it goes. Our decoy Jarrett will be testing Emily's loyalty by hitting on her and asking her on a date. Will she remain loyal, or will she entertain Jarrett's advances? She tells me she wants to be with me and stuff, but, like, some of the stuff she does, like, it doesn't, like, really, like, match. This is her. She basically looks like the same right now. She's just wearing some uh, blue jeans right now and then the sweater, a black sweater. So that is her right there. Our plan was to divide this loyalty test into three phases. Phase one would begin at Emily's job across the street. We're here with Eric. He's left his car behind and we're going to start our reconnaissance. Thanks to Eric, we knew that Emily was working. But to make sure that she wasn't on the break or anything, we sent in Leslie to do some reconnaissance. Our plan was very simple. Jarrett would walk into her job, pretend to be a customer, and then get her number. He would then begin communicating with her and eventually invite her over to his big house with his nice cars. V8 by Turbo, baby. I think it should be reversed. I feel like you should ask for her Instagram first because I know she won't give her Instagram because I'd go through her Instagram. So she's going to say no to that. But then I feel like if you say her number, then she'll be like, okay, because then she can kind of hide it in a way. But... And so what does she usually do when she's working? Does she like walk around or does she like to uh, stop stuff? Or... No, it's, she's usually just in her section. She likes a day. She just works whatever shipment she got and then stocks it up. Just stocks it up it. and that's yeah. it? And, and wherever she works, is there like, is she usually secluded, or is there like is she like right in the middle of everybody? Uh, I mean, I guess if it gets full, then yeah, it's kind of like a little like. Okay. Does she have work right now? Really get too full because it's not that big of a store, not too okay. many. Yeah. Now the reason Eric wanted to pull this test specifically at Emily's job was because he's caught her doing some questionable things with her coworkers. So you caught her like talking to other guys? My friend that actually is working right now, he saw, for one guy, he saw that. She, he kissed her on the cheek, I think, and like she was cool with it and stuff. While she was working? Yeah. Some random dude? No, or no, like no, she... a co-worker. Oh, a co-worker. Mm -hmm. And then she got a work the other guy, his girlfriend, uh, his girlfriend called me and then showed me messages of them talking back and forth, like kind of flirting and stuff. And then apparently at work, they also like kissed and stuff. And like, like, yeah. Oh, damn. That is man so, looking. one of your girlfriend's co-worker's girlfriend hit you up telling yeah. you, yo, this is what's happening. Yeah, because she's the one that saw the messages between them. I didn't know because obviously, like, she hides them and stuff. Like, oh, just, wow. I never, I never, like, I guess, I never really checked through her phone until then. And when you caught her, like, doing this, what happened? Like, did you confront her about it? Did we would, you... like, talk about it and stuff. And, like, I don't know, like, she, the way she would talk about it, it seemed like she kind of didn't care. No Or when I came into the store to, like, kind of confront the guy, too, is, like, she was just, like, I guess she didn't like really care if like I would stay with her or. And other than that time, have wow. you caught her anything with anything else and stuff or? Mm, I mean, I like before like once when the relationship was barely new, she, like she would message uh, on Instagram and stuff, but like never like link up with nobody. It was just pure messages and stuff. But I mean, yeah. it's kind of hurt too because uh, I understand her like I guess her side because her past boyfriend kind of like cheated on her and stuff so like i mean i guess you could say there's trauma there too so how long have you guys been dating him right now it's gonna be no 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 i'm trying to get her no past because her ex-boyfriend cheated on her that's no reason if you're not healed do not bring that trauma into your next relationship bro don't try to give her no excuse because she going Hell no. Nah. See, that's why she doing what she doing to you right now. Because you too soft, nigga. Couldn't be. 
a year. So like you really like this girl, you really want to be with this girl. I, mean, I honestly do, it's just that. I just want her to tell me stuff, like be open about her emotions and stuff, and like, about just everything else. I want nothing hidden between us, that's the thing. And then I just don't know what's going on in the store as well too, because like, I don't, know, I don't work there no more, or she doesn't tell me stuff. So. Oh, so you guys used to work there together? Yeah, for a good while, but then I ended up leaving. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Is that how you met her? Like, yeah, working yeah, there? Yeah. Okay. The reason I asked Eric if he really liked and wanted to be with this girl is because there are way too many red flags in this relationship. I mean, in this girl. She is kissing people, talking to people, deleting messages. It's too much. Personally, I would have ended things a long time ago. I mean, mm. the fact that this man has put up with this for a year, though, is crazy. I see that as an outsider looking in, though. Like, if I really were to put myself in his shoes and in his situation, who knows if I'd also be blinded by love. I want to say I wouldn't be, but who knows? Kudos to him for trying to understand her past her trauma but that shouldn't justify her behavior if she wants to do everything that she's doing fine just stay single but i mean hey who are we to judge we're just here to help eric find some peace of mind how do you do you think she's gonna pass or you think she's gonna fail the test i mean i think things have been going a little good she's gonna day. fail hopefully she does okay. I, th I think she might pass but if she does it yeah okay. it's like it's not like she hasn't hurt me already so <laughs> i used to watch you a lot i used to oh, yeah. you're too like soft bro. can we take a quick picture yeah let's do it okay. Well, thank you for used to watching. <laughs> Did she have something going on with her coworker and stuff? Or like, was it just like a, that kiss on the cheek and like That's this texting? Thing. I feel like if she never would've got caught or whatever they would've told me, I don't know what could have led up to. Right. But like, I just don't wanna be throwing too much business out there. Yeah, no, I feel it, I feel it. You just don't know what might've happened, I guess. Yeah. We've talked about stuff like, probably like, many times and it's kind of like the same thing over and over again it's just I feel like kind of now she kind of gets it more but it's still just kind of like the same stuff over and okay i just want her to get it and yeah i can't force it on her but if she doesn't want to do it she could just tell me like, yeah or we don't like out or whatever have you given her the opportunity to say that to you have you given her the opportunity to like have that conversation yeah, i've given her an opportunity to tell her like do you want to be with me or not she's says she wants to so okay that's why you keep going through it. like i know it's not something easy to say to someone you don't want to be with them but Right. I feel like she could do that with me. Yeah. Eric's right. It isn't easy to tell someone that, but it's necessary. It ain't cool to lead someone on and then tell them you really want to be with them when you don't know. Honestly, it's either, yeah, you want to be with them or no, you don't. Leading yep. this uncertainty in the middle does more harm yep. than good. Did you see her, Leslie? I think I did. Yeah. She works in that section yeah. to the left. Okay. Okay. So dairy section to the left. She'll probably come out right now. She's the only girl there, so Yeah, I think okay. it's her. See. That's her, my girl, the guy oh, I'm talking to. Ooh. This is the customer. Right? Ooh, dude, wait, who's that guy? I think that's <laughs> <laughs> already a guy talking to her. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> my job is done. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a customer, though, so. Hey, man, I don't yeah. know. He's kind of cute, though. <laughs> <laughs> that was good camera call. Which, which iPhone is this? <laughs> With Jared now knowing where Emily was and what she looked like, he was now free to enter the store and get her number. Phase number one was officially in full swing. All right, dude, so how confident are you that she's gonna pass the test? I mean, as long as she just says she has a boyfriend and then okay. um, tells me about the situation, that's about it. Okay. Because, like, I mean, if someone comes up to her and just asks her questions and stuff, kind of like the... As long as she says she got a boyfriend. You know how many females say they got a boyfriend but still do stuff behind their back? Oh, this nigga. Somebody save this brother. The guy was doing, like, I don't expect her to tell me that. Like, that's pointless. In the way. I just want, like, when someone's doing a little extra stuff. And that's why I'm like, oh, okay, for sure. Okay. okay. We told him first to, like, kind of, like, shop yeah. around, make it seem all legit, and then he's going to make his move. <laughs> don't forget your Takis. The last was to discreetly follow Jared around, getting a solid angle, but not following too close as to get caught. After pretending to shop around for a bit, Jared eventually makes his way to the dairy section of the store. I imagine that other guy still there. <laughs> the guy who was talking to Emily was no longer there, but neither was Emily. There was absolutely no sign of her. It was crickets. The worst case scenario was happening. We had done our reconnaissance, yet somehow things still played out this way. My best guess was she was either in the bathroom taking a leak, in the back grabbing something, or worse, on a break. Thankfully, after waiting for some time though, she eventually returned. All right, she's back. Here we go. This is it, dude. Excuse me. Hey, can I get your advice on something, please?
All right, so I'm trying to cook like this big ass meal. What's the best thing over here? What would you get? Like peaks or anything? Or? Anything. Like. Good. What's your favorite? What, you, what would you go for? You cook? A little bit. Okay, so if you was cooking, what would you have? Damn, it kind of sounds like she's like not giving him any conversation. Huh? Say what up. Okay, that's good. So, I mean, that's how she usually is. So. Oh, okay, got it. I know you ain't going through the make ready to make fried rice. No, I feel like I'm trying to go like all of it. Like pasta, pasta, bread, chicken. Hell yeah, I'm black. It might just be me, but I don't really feel like Emily's giving Jared too much conversation. This could have been due to stress, annoyance, or concentration in her job, or like Eric said, maybe she's just like that, a very quiet person. This it? Okay. Try to go all out. Would you pair this with like some uh, wine or what? Yeah. Okay. Garlic bread. Help me out, you're my tour guide now. I have a question. Damn, right when this test was really about to start and things were gonna get good, Emily gets pulled away by another customer. She said, just give me a second. I think someone else asked me. Get real quick, I'll be back. Uh, I'll be back. Yeah. Honestly, I felt like Jarrett was about to start cooking. Like I could see where he was taking this thing. And she was with it too. Like she was down to help him in everything. Like he was about to bag that number. You can help them real quick, I'll be back. Go ahead, okay. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. I'm gonna take a lap. Hey, this thing ain't over yet, though. Remember, for phase one, all Jarrett had to do was just get her number. Chicken Alfredo. I want this. Jarrett had to wait for a good while. This lady needed help. It's funny, she used the same tactic that he used to talk to Emily. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> she just might be a little bit too busy in there, dude. Uh, uh, but I mean, the way she's kind of responding is just basic and boring. Which is what I tell her is like, just answer is simple like mm -hmm. oh, that's good that's, by, that's good by me like, oh my like, goodness like, oh my goodness all extra stuff uh -huh. hell yeah okay so essentially what i'm trying to do right now is i'm trying to put together this whole meal what about alcohol what you think like liquor stuff? liquor Lick. Lick. you got hennessy yeah is that your favorite? I don't drink, but I see people, you know, posting Casamigos. Does, does Casamigos go good with some garlic bread? <laughs> I've drank with them before. It's really took a light one cup. That's about it. Damn, we should have we forgot. Like this. She smokes. Which one no. you drink with? No? She didn't smoke? Uh, hey, uh, you, you're supposed to be helping me out. Let's go. What's your name? I'm sorry. Jared, nice to meet you. Jarrett had finally introduced himself to Emily, and I gotta say, everything up to this point sounded very professional. She also seems like a straight edge. I mean, she doesn't drink, she doesn't smoke. She might have a very good chance at passing this test. But hey, then again, just because you don't drink or smoke doesn't mean you're loyal. Hopefully she is, but I'm just saying. Perfect. You say you don't drink? I don't drink, I don't drink. Just a little and not too. I just don't have fun yet. Latinas always say that. And then next thing you know, you three drinks in. I know how to drink. All right, all right, all right. So what, how about this? Which one would you drink with me? Bella Rose. Huh? With Bella. You had to think about it and then she gave That's an answer? Yeah. That's the one you're going to grab with me? Yeah, the black. Then she said, yeah, twice. OK. That's it? All right. So I got garlic bread. I bought by the car. Microwavable. He bought the car. I just didn't want the Oh, I'm gonna think about the car. So when we, we when we gonna eat this together? Yeah, I think that's good. Huh? That'd be good. This will be good? Okay. Okay, I don't know if she didn't hear the question here or if she just ignored it, but she dodged that good. Well, I'm about to take off, but listen, I don't want to say thank you. I just want to also say you cute as Let me grab your number. Can you grab me a number? Yeah? I got a girlfriend. I'm teasing. I'm messing with you. Is it serious? Yeah. Yeah? Well, let me grab your Instagram at least. You sure? I'll take you out. I asked one more time. We'll grab it. No? All right, well, 
I want to say thank you at least, all right? Thanks. Damn, and so just like that, Emily turns down our decoy. She doesn't give out her number, she doesn't give out her IG, which means that she doesn't let us go into a phase two. Yikes, I'm gonna put this stuff back. <laughs> I mean, that's good enough for me. It's just that I feel like, I don't know, I feel like if we would have done this in the beginning of our relationship, it probably would have been different. Different. I think she passed. All these dudes, uh, they uh, they keep looking at me, bro. <laughs> yeah. And she she kept you looking need, at You them, needed somebody better to do this. She kept looking at what? Did she catch on? I don't know. I don't know. He, he said like something like she kept looking at. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Emily did pass, but it sounded like both Jared and Eric still showed some reservations. Like, wait, 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 what's going through your mind? What are you thinking? I mean, I don't know. No, I guess the only doubts I would have in my mind is like maybe he wasn't attractive enough for her. But I don't, I don't. he wasn't really her type. Maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's so it sounds like you still almost like still don't really trust it because there might maybe be a different someone decoy. who she will fi mm -hmm. find more attractive. Yeah. But so I, it still sounds like you're like kind of like hesitant and not super yeah, trusting of her just yeah. yet. I just feel like it just has to be built more because like she's honestly like stuff she does, she kind of like broke it already. But uh -huh. with stuff like this, with her telling me like stuff like, oh, some guy came up to me, called me beautiful and stuff. Like, were they telling me stuff like that? And it kind of builds it back up. You know? yeah. Like I said, there's always going to be kind of a doubt. But it's yeah. just less kind of now. Eric's reservations honestly make sense to me. Like, this guy wanted to keep it going to a phase two. I don't think he wanted her to fail. I think he just wanted to keep it going to see how she acts with guys that she does consider, quote unquote, friends or homies. Which, again, makes sense considering what she's done to him in the past. I'll be nice and put this stuff back. Now let's talk about Jared's reservations because this is where things take a twist. Before we get into it though, let's give this girl some credit. Like she did pass this test, didn't give out her number, gotta give credit where credit is due. With that out of the way though, Jared would tell us later that he felt like some male employees were giving him looks. Maybe this was just him being paranoid, but maybe it was true. Maybe just maybe when Emily was distracted or pulled away by the other customer, these guys tipped her off. Maybe these guys noticed Elias suspiciously always trailing Jared and they alerted Emily as a courtesy. Maybe they were just trying to look out for her like, hey, these guys are recording a video, be careful. Or maybe they alerted her out of jealousy. I mean, remember guys, the times that Eric caught Emily essentially cheating was with her coworkers. For one guy, he kissed her on the cheek, I think, and like she was cool with it. While she was working? Yeah. Some random dude? No, or no, like... no, a coworker. Oh, a coworker. Mm -hmm. The other guy, his girlfriend called me and then showed me messages of them talking back and forth, like kind of flirting and stuff. And then apparently at work, they also like kissed and stuff. I'm like, oh damn. It's just a conspiracy theory, right? But looking back at the footage, after Emily helped those customers, she made direct eye contact with the camera multiple times. Is that she hadn't done when initially just talking to Jared. So it was almost as if she knew it was there now. Either she spotted it or somebody told her. And the fact that Jared said that these guys were all staring at him and giving him looks and she was looking at them just makes me suspicious. Bro, these guys are... <laughs> So how are you how are you gonna all. try to catch her in <laughs> at, just at like work? The at the same time. <laughs> Shortly after wrapping up our test, Eric received an interesting text. Wait, hold on. I mean, that's all I could ask for, man. Honestly, for right, for right now. She just texted you, literally. Yeah. Oh, so a guy complimented me, just letting you know. That's all I could ask for. Right? She's like, uh, I can't. I was like, Oh, she was speaking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She almost folded. Her, her texting you like that, though, is that normal? This is what we talked about literally like Thursday, Friday. Like, <laughs> I want stuff like this, and I guess this is the first time she's done it. Okay. Yeah, so, but I mean, the thing, though, is like, it's, it's conversations that we've had, like, long ago, so, like, I don't know why it, ha it took so long just to, like... For it to happen now? Yeah. Throughout the whole relationship, I've never, like, even though she's done that stuff, I've never, like, stopped liking her in a way, like... I think I'm really in deep for her and stuff. It's just oh man, like, that dude is that hurts, gone, it's just more like bro. affected like my trust for her. Maybe she don't like black guys. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to sound like this, but honestly, Emily sending Eric that text makes me even more suspicious. Again, I hate to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but I can't help but think that she's trying to save face or look good. She caught on or she was tipped off. All of you guys are out. That was kind of funny though. Man, and then she walked away. I'm like, I gotta like take a lap. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 
but honestly at the end of the day though this is all our fault like we should have approached this test differently we should have ensured eric a deeper test with a one-on-one -on -one alone conversation with our decoy no distractions no customers no co-workers this one was for sure on us we were just too ambitious with it do you think your trust will ever fully come back for her i mean as long as she keeps doing like good like this i don't see why there's stuff that i gotta doubt for okay yeah well yeah. show her the video and i'm sure every guy who hits on her she's gonna think I it's a test i don't even <laughs> <laughs> every guy who walks up to her now and compliments her she's gonna she be like, like hey, where's, where's, where's eric <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna be like where's the camera <laughs> It, when I came over, another couple came and they were like, um, they were asking her for stuff, so it like interrupted while I was trying to talk yeah. to her. Yeah. And I had to like get back in character, but I mean, it was it was cool, man. What is it that you said towards the end? I think she was looking at the oh oh the guy workers, like they like they were like they kept glancing at me, and so I'm like, it's because you're flashy, so I don't know. But they kept look, they kept looking at me. She would look at them, so I it's kind of awkward a little bit. What guy worker was it? Um, she chewed on you, bro. One had a hat backwards, I think it was. Then a light skinned dude. But um, but no, almost got, almost got it. You, yeah, man, you're lucky. That's good. Yeah. yeah. She chewed no, on you. I was telling him though, like, I just feel like if this energy would have been th towards the beginning of the relationship, it would have been way better. But, I mean, it's cool. Like, it feels I, good to know, like. Yeah. Now, do you think she's gonna? Let you know about this. Yes, she did already. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She texted him. Oh damn. <laughs> okay. So God complimented, just letting you know. Yikes! Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. She didn't see the Benz though, so you know. Yeah. It was a full like, Come on, man. Part <laughs> two with the Benz. Hey, you know I mean? <laughs> Regardless of our reservations and how overly ambitious this test was, I am still glad that Emily passed. Yeah, our test is already over, but Emily did the best thing she could possibly do, which is not give out her number or her Instagram. And I wish I could wish these two know them of the best, but unfortunately, they broke up. Yep. They didn't break up. Know them of the best, but unfortunately, they broke up. What's up, Eric? How you doing, bro? It's Sergio Duty Why. Just checking in on on you. How are you, girl? Hey, what's up, Sergio? Pretty dope to hear from you, man. Been loving the vids. They are bangers. And well, me and her finished, bro. As much as I loved her and wanted the best for her. Broke up. Yep. They didn't break up because of this test. They broke up because Emily cheated. Again. As much as I loved her and wanted the best for her, you you just can't really change someone's mind's ways. Can't change a hoe into a housewife. Some other stuff happened, so I just let it be. Just been working and doing me hitting the gym and playing soccer. LOL. I got what type of I got told you when we met I don't really converse much I'm shy lol oh this this nigga this nigga's a ooh yeah I'm Go shy lol I have two, two guy friends that work there and they always kind of like kept an eye out for stuff they would tell me like, oh she's doing this or she's doing that so I guess when we're doing the video right my friend said he saw one of the co-workers with her like doing some stuff uh, I ended up getting mad too and then I ended up going to the store I was honestly gonna kick his ass but then I thought about it I was like bro cause it, that was the, 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 the first thing he said when I caught him was like get out of here I'm gonna call the cops and I'm like bro I'm not sure if she kept doing stuff with that guy but then there was this other two that worked there too that i thought we were cool but he ended up like i guess talking shit down my back and stuff like saying like oh why are you with that guy you deserve better and stuff and i was like bro this was like this was a bum she, she would always tell me like oh don't worry about him like you know how girls are they say don't worry about him he's nothing and then they end up doing some stuff like but then to top it off after like i think there was another dude like kind of manager yeah. okay i am not gonna she didn't got a train around her throughout the whole store. Every, every, every person that worked the dang nigga say even the manager, the manager, the other co-workers, he didn't ran a train on you. Oh man, see, I told you, I told you she was cheating, bro. She seen the camera. She seen that dude wasn't her type, and the other dudes. Was telling her watch out. So you was all geechy and shit for what?
Because <laughs> nigga already knew she was still cheating. I've been said that. Said that, man. I said that. You think she really was going to go in a public settings around, around her dudes that she really want, that she really like? Man, come on, man. You got to be smarter than that, bro throw too much business out there i think you guys get the point like i said from the very beginning if this girl wants to be doing all of this and talking to other guys or whatever that's fine just stay single she's obviously pretty and stuff like obviously other guys try getting at her but it's like it's on her to like obviously not entertain them and stuff too sad who going out sad You could tell he wanted to cry in the car. He had high hopes. But if I was UDY, like I said, she's still going. So I don't know why he started smiling because she said no. She had a boyfriend. She texted him. Like, come on, man. Be for real. Be fucking for real. <laughs> 